Wow, it really just comes out and says it, huh? I have found 7 out of 29 secrets in the entire game, and 0 out of 2 on this floor, apparently. Huh. Huh. Well, now I gotta go back, right? Oh, wait. Click. Because now I can know. A little weird, though, because that makes them almost, like, less, like, secrets? I have mixed feelings about that idea, because it essentially means that, like, you can just sort of bumble your way through a floor, and then afterwards check to see if you got the secrets or not. So you don't really need to be as inquisitive as you normally would have to be, in a secrety sort of way. So I found all three on this on this floor. So I'm excited, because I think the next floor is supposed to be the library, which I think the loading screen kind of indicated. And, yep, that pretty much gives it away. So... According to our most recent podcast, this is the floor that Wanderbot rage quit on, and he could handle no more of this game, because it's so hard or something. So, the librarian. Huh. Not library, librarian. Wonder what the distinction there is. Maybe that's the boss or something? So I'm interested in seeing why this was uh, so brutally hard. I need a key. We need a rusty key and a silver key. We're in the library. This place actually looks fancy, and we're still using rusty keys? Not like a bronze mm, key? This is a bit too quiet. Ooh. Oopsie. Gotta stop clicking on things, and also holding that weapon. Hopefully I'll find a shield I can actually use. Uh, as opposed to shields that you could only use if you specialized in shields. Because so far, not so much- not so much luck there. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a bad sound. The part where the door doesn't open, and then I hear noises. Oh, he's dead already. I was about- I was about to hit the other one. Rusty key. There we go. And I should heal. We were less than half- Ah, oh, I'm about to level up, that was a bad idea. Oh well. I need to get more health drops. I'm actually lagging behind there. I tried to press it again. The button doesn't work. Interesting. These look like stasis pods, or whatever, in a way that, like, I would almost expect them to contain another upgrade for my suit or something. Because they look- they remind me of the ones I got the suit from. Let's see. Friends? Okay, what should I be thinking about this floor? The floor is weird, right? Like, the path might mean something. There's like a trench going through there. Not trench, but like there's a path. And there's a bunch of weird dotted lines. Get that saved done, I guess. Weird sack on the ground. Oh, you actually opened. Also, you're full of bad news. If you could just politely die, that'd be great. Ow. Okay. Ooh. To carry you. Oh. Well. The slowness of this hammer is definitely starting to punish me. I might want to consider changing. There we go. We're doing good now. That door over- yeah, the door did open. It was trapped, but it opened, so let's check there first. Let's get this map- look at this room fully mapped real quick. For my own sake, if nothing else. More hints of bedding. Regular mantle, 100 integrity, 3 combat. Iron dagger. 13 damage. Do I have a dagger yet? I have a rusty sword. 13, 14. But this one's like incredibly slow and garbage, while this is not. Yeah, I don't see why I'd keep the rusty sword around at that point. Although sting might be just straight up better. Either way, definitely getting tempting to just swap out. 
Let's see, regular mantle, combat body armor. You're kind of bad, aren't you? The 100 integrity is pretty good. Even the three combat's kind of okay, but like the other effects are kind of my focus right now. So I think I'm just going to leave it. Instead of hurting my storage space more. Since I have to make choices at this point. Let's see. I'm definitely tempted to change again. We are fighting organic creatures. Like, this specializes in mechanical, but it does make- it does have the giant bonus every now and then. A little tempting to switch to something like this that does better against organic. While being able to attack very quickly. Eh, I'll stick it out for now. It hits so well, but it gets me hit. This is basically the breakdown. What a mess. Seems like people left in a hurry. Cadet pistol. That's got to be an upgrade. Or some of these guys, like the footman pistol. Why would I keep the footman pistol around? Is there any reason? Nope, it's the exact same stats, but d double the damage. So you get out of here. Clear upgrade there. 40 damage handgun. It does more damage than my rifle does. Its range is 3. This has a little bit more range, but this is faster and longer range. I mean, faster and uses less ammo, I mean. Iron sword, 28 damage. So that, that replaces the rusty sword, then, in my inventory. Sure. Not in a hurry to throw anything else away, but my space is going to become a premium at this rate. Button. Secret button. There we go. They really can just be anywhere. This is why I was so thorough last time around, because they could just be anywhere. No! Wait. That was weird. That That's almost like an, an actual error. It uh, fired my gun, but it also opened the chest with the same click, so it like registered as two different inputs. Huh. Plus one combat. Combat takes us to 16. Plus 48% to all weapon damage, 16 precision. Yeah, combat definitely has its place. It's one of my sources of damage. While I'm trying to specialize in the gadgets, the combat never really stops being a primary source of damage, so very happy to find permanent upgrades. Oh. I feel like I should be worried when the button doesn't respond. Like, that means I'm extra trapped now. Oh, hi. How do you do? Yes, nice to meet you, sir. Up. Hehehe. Hehehe. Oh, secondary dude. Oh, wow. It's a good thing you were like weirdly slow. Thanks for that. Thank you for taking a long time to join the fight. Because, wow, you would have been bad news to have show up during the actual main fight. <laughs> Goodbye. And you guys are getting easier to fight. The trinkets definitely help. Circuit rank. Alright, let's see what the requirement is. Uh, it doesn't say. So, I guess it must be level 6. Which is what I am now. Ah. Uh, so, I need to choose now. Do I want... So both these are going to give me one more gadget slot, so they're my top priorities for my next two level ups, but this one will give me even more energy regen. This one will give me more and more faster recharge speed. They're both really tempting. Faster recharge speed means I can use my powers more and more and more and more frequently during fights, making making those fights even more useful. Like I, like I, like I was using my trinkets like non-stop during that fight just now, and doing, doing them even faster would be pretty good, but... If the fights get any harder, I'm going to run out of energy. Because if, if I have to use them more, I'll run out. So that, that's what makes the energy regen tempting, too. I, still, I want both, like, immediately. So let's look at the actual skill itself. This is the fusion converter. Each rank increases your... No, that's the normal one. Reallocator. Uh, enhances the efficiency of fumium gathered at, from destroyed enemies. Oh, it's the bonus experience gains upgrade. 
And also damage taken is uh, becomes energy. That's just pretty good. This one is uh, bonus gadget damage. Oh, they're both really good. But this one makes me level up faster. So I should get it as soon as possible. And this is the earliest I could possibly get the experience upgrade. So now I will level up faster, making it easier to get to rank 2 quickly. And also the more frequently I level up, the more I get free heals, which get, increases my efficiency of my uh, experience. But also now that gives me more energy regen, which means that I will now also get to deal with uh, using powers more. Let's get that acid in there. There we go. So now I have lightning, fire, and acid all equipped at the same time, which I am fond of the idea of. Because that means that uh, I don't have to hot swap when different enemies show up that specialize in uh, different el energy types, because I was having to hot swap last floor, and that was get that was just taking making me take more damage having to go to your inventory like that and deal with those kinds of things. That just blows, so it's good to have that be done. So yeah, it does appear that this these are level 6, so that must be level 8 and level 10 are the caps for those different parts of the tree. Okie dokie. I only have rank 1 of armor still, huh? Yeah, getting more points into armor is also nice because uh, it means that my repair kits are more efficient because I'll use a, it, it heals 50% of your health bar. So if your health bar is bigger, then you get more health. Uh, but if these are going to be available, if the next tier is available every other level, I'll probably just keep specializing in fusion and thalma, which means that I'll only really level up armor when I get free circuit points from, uh, when I get those free circuit points from secrets. And we'll see how often that happens, but it's only happened once so far. And I wouldn't put a lot of faith in it happening more. We have 2.5 energy regen. Thank you. Let's see how fast that looks. That looks pretty fast. It's getting there. It's not going to sustain me for a fight, but increases the chance that by the time I, by the time I would normally run out of energy in a fight, I might be able to use one more power at least. Or I'm more likely to still have energy from fight to fight. As opposed to having to wait after each one's over and stuff like that. Also, I have these energy cells that I can remind myself exist. But I should only really use them during, like, really dangerous boss fight scenarios. I shouldn't have to use them against garbage fights. Uh, trash mobs, I mean. It's kind of wasteful. Adept outfit. 80 integrity, 1.2 re energy regen. This is 0.8 energy regen. Plus 3 tech. This is where the theory crafting gets difficult. It reminds me of playing a rogue in WoW and having to have like algorithms that determine which gear is technically better for you. Because a lot of stats are, once you, you, you know that certain stats are good for you, but it's hard to figure out which ones are better for you. Let's put that brick in the stack. Alright, so this new one would give me like twice as much bonus integrity than the other one does, and 50% more energy regen. It also gives me three tech, which this one only gives me two, but this one has the extra super special effects of giving me 10% faster recharge speed and plus 20% repair power. Which I believe means that my repairs heal me for a lot higher percentage. So its only real bonus is its recharge speed thing of 10%. I think the sheer amount of other upgrades here are better. Faster regen, better integrity. And frankly, I could put the Tinker Harness on when I want to repair myself, if, I, if I'm safe between fights at least. So despite the, pur the uh, obvious purpleness of it, I might actually be better off wearing this thing, which makes my energy regen now 2.9. Supreme Bureau Manuals, Volume 2. Um, can I read it? Wait, what? Oh, it's a quest item. Supreme Bureau Manuals Volume 2. It's a... Okay, so it's a quest item, so maybe I'm collecting all the pieces of it? Oh, because it's the librarian. So maybe, I, maybe I'm the librarian and that I have to collect the books and put them somewhere to open up a uh, thing that doesn't open? Maybe that's why the, some of these doors don't open? You're the one that didn't open. There's no bookshelves near you, though. I'd probably take it back to the main room. Let's check out this next. Howdy. Is that bad? <laughs> Ooh. Now I'm over here. Right. Oh, so the map seems to indicate there's going to be a room past that door. So that's a big bad acid monster. A lot of buttons around here. I should avoid pressing anything until we deal with them. Anything over here? Lightning. 
Ow. Other en energy. Oh. Okay, let's get out of that. Let's get out of that. Shooting you. Gotta stay at distance for a bit. Aha! Both down. I took some damage, though. I tried to specialize in just shooting at them from a distance for a while. How are we doing on experience? Uh... I wouldn't put a ton of faith in me being able to just power through to the next level. I'm not in a hurry to use my experience either. That says... Nina Godrick, Library sec uh, Section Director of Physics. These guys are everywhere. Francis Bow, Library Section Director, Engineering. Is it, are those other? Those must be their dedicated sections of the library. Uh, oh, that's a fireball hitting a wall for a puzzle. Okay. Could you please drop health kits, game? I'm not sure how I feel about the health kits being RNG, because they seem to be pure RNG. Which is dangerous. Door synchronization testing facility. What does that mean? Does every door open at once when I press it? The timer? Portal? Like a genuine portal? More buttons. Ah, it warps you back out, okay. What? Wait. Oh, this is the other side, I got turned around. I'm um, like, these uh, extra side areas weren't here a moment ago. Not the same spot. Get over here. See, so these are the ones you can pull. There we go. Except, uh... <laughs> this to really work, I need to push it towards that. So I wonder if I can loop around? That felt clever until I realized I was kind of trapped. What's going on over here? There's a hole. Does it have spikes down there? By the way, why'd they make spike traps? <laughs> Before, in a, in a game like Grimrock, you're like, Oh, it's a dungeon, so like, you know... It's a dungeon. It's, they're designed to keep people out. This is like... a uh, testing facility scientific type place. Like Bioshock. So it's, uh, that, that raises questions at that point of like, why why spike traps? <laughs> so there's... So I can't get past these spike traps. Ooh. I think I'm supposed to... bring the boxes over here. Yeah. I was thinking we would block the fireballs just to make the fireballs go away. But while that is convenient, sure, I really think the primary goal here is actually to push these in these holes so that you can gain access to the boxes and whatnot over there. And we have to do you first, I think. Because I can't pull you because I'll die. So I have to push this one in this hole. Giving me access to this place. We can't... Oh, we can push this one. We'll see what our goal is there. Another doorway. So I can only push these. I can pull them, but there's... I can't get back this way. This way is definitely impossible because it's a wall, unless it opens somehow. This is a door, but I need to find out how to open the door. It might be attached to the timers. Which door is this? It's the door that was opposite of me when I walked in to the main hallway. So I'm, let's pull this back this way. Get it ready. Because my goal will be, if I can somehow open this door, I'm going to want to pull this through the door. So it gets out of my way. Yeah, because I can't pull this here. Because I, I occupy- I, when I occupy this square, I can't pull that thing to this square to, like, try pulling it out that way. 
And now let's see if I can get the other one in a spot where I can escape with it. This raises a new problem. Oh no, I just need to push it from behind. I was thinking like I was thinking in terms of pulling, I can't pull it over here because when I pull it into here, I end up I ended up walking, uh, trapping myself. Okay. That was a little. That was cutting a little close. I didn't really time that as well as I should have. Dodge. There we go. I did see the chest over there. I had the momentary thought that I would block the doorway with this so that the fire doesn't hit me when I'm going after the chest, but then I remembered that the act of putting it in front of the fireball traps me in this hallway, so we'll get to it in a moment. Oh no. You create a problem for me, don't you? I can't pull it that way because of the hole, but, I can't, but so I have to push it from behind somehow, so for now I just need to push it out of my way and leave it over there until I can get that other door to open, I guess. So we're back to the brick walls, those were not going away. Basic zap, or zap an enemy in front of you dealing damage and administering a heavy shock on them. Uh, shock deals damage over time. Uh, that's the usual stuff. Uh, 35 damage. 6 second of duration. 50%. Minus 50% total damage. So it has a longer duration. Uh, more than twice as much damage. Same casting time. Lower energy cost. Okay. Even a faster cooldown. So basically the question here is, do you want to have a higher damage single target, or do you want to have a lower damage AoE that takes longer? Because this is this does, this is a more focused version of the same attack. And I think I'm going to focus on it being... I mean, on using that, I think. So the Discharger does an AoE, which is good for crowd control, but the majority of my fights are actually against single targets, or manageable targets. But yeah, having the Gargantuan Explosion does help. Although if they are coming at me during through a hallway, uh... No, that's a one tile range. This is a two tile range. So yeah, it's actually worse than the blowtorch. The blowtorch hits two guys in a row, whereas this one only hits one enemy. But it does do more damage. So it could be it's better for focusing one target down, but worse for for crowd management. And so I may want I want I may want to balance my choice of uh, powers accordingly between some of them being AOE and some of them not being AOE. Or I could go all or all of them could be f uh, focused targets, and I just focus on that. Part of me wonders if there's going to be a secret down that hallway. But I can't really check very well right now due to the uh, dangers. But if I don't find my secret, I'll know where to potentially check. I don't know what that is. Is it a thing? There's some kind of opening here. Is it a receptacle? Because sometimes there's like a receptacle and you need to shoot the fireballs into it. You, you're a button though and I'm wondering what you're for. That shoots out a pulse. There might be a receptacle on the opposite side for another pulse. That's worth considering. Okay. That timing may not be easy. Yeah, that looks like it might be where the stuff's supposed to go. Interesting. Maybe a little hard to manage. So how does one move that fast? Yeah, it's, that seems unmanageable.
They both look the same, so I think they're both emitters, and the other side is are both receivers. But how does one get the doors open long enough? That is not open for long. So the next question then would be, does something else around here control how long they're open? Also, can I open this door? No? I would guess that making the pulses go across correctly would somehow lead to that door opening. The high ceiling in here, but I don't think the high ceiling indicates much of anything. Were you open for a long time? You stay open way longer, don't you? Doesn't give me a lot to work with though, does it? Still never gonna make it there in time. Huh. I'm sure that the different timings of the two doors being open is important, I'm just not sure what I can change here. Well, I feel like the one thing we do know is that none of my plans are working. So... Holy shit. Haven't I pressed that one before? Because that's new, right? Wow, it doesn't even open. That counts for four counts. One count. Like six and a half counts? That was... I honestly stopped counting a little bit. What if I make them open at all at the same time? Oh, that was the fast one, wasn't it? Whoops. Yeah, I got mixed up. Oh, that's a... what was that sound? Oh, oh, oh d d d Okay. Uh... <laughs> that's, uh... Not good news. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Uh... uh. <laughs> so he just got shot. That means it's not the same dude. That's more than one of them. Uh... Oh, Jesus. There's more than two of them. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going this way, dude. Oh, no. Nope. You can't make me. Haha. Uh Hehe. -huh. <laughs> Come and get it, buddy. I got a fireball to pick with you. Ow. Nope. Ah. Yes. Master plan. Master plan. Yes. Oh, that's a miss. Ooh. Oh my god, this is the best idea I've ever had. This is why there's a fireball here. Because there's a butt-ton of boss fights to deal with, and that's just way too much problem. Ooh. Healing kit. There we go. Come on over, buddy. Please. I don't have to lure you here, because you're gonna, like, hurt me on the way. Good experience, too. I guess I'll stand here and hope that it aggroes them if they see me. I think they genuinely lost me. Why don't I just use the portal? 
Hey there. Ow. He shot me that time. He saw me. Dang it. I was trying to I was trying to figure out whether or not he was aggroed yet. And he ended up shooting me. Hopefully I level up soon, because I'd rather try to conserve some healing. Hey buddy. Boom. Yes. Really the the dungeons being the MVP here. Oh yes, here comes the other one. I didn't have to lure it out and hurt myself. Nope. Dude. Dude. God damn it. Turn around. You son of a bitch. Ow. Hey, buddy. Leaving. What direction am I facing? Oh shit. Uh, there he is. I was like, I don't know which way he's gonna come from next. Yes. 